Hello, and welcome to Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. My name is Donnie O'Banion, and today I'm being joined by Adam Gudger, who's the national sales manager as well as the chief designer of Thor Motor Coach's luxury diesel division. And today you're in for a real treat because Adam's going to be walking us through one of the most family friendly luxury diesels I've ever seen. It's the all new Aria 4000. Adam, Donnie. thanks as always for being here. Oh, it's always a Can't pleasure. Can't wait to see this coach. Well, as you know, and I get excited, but probably more excited I've ever been to come down and take these folks through this coach. It's so different than anything we've ever done before. Wow. I know you're a huge fan of bunk models, and this is the first time that we've done a bunk like this. It's the first really time the industry's ever seen a bunk quite like this, and the first time we've ever put two bathrooms in a motorhome. Well, we worked together on the design of this floor plan, Donnie, and we looked at so many other things that were out there, and we really tried to challenge the engineers this time to try to find something a little different. It starts up front. You know, one of the things that we've done with the Aria when we debuted it is we wanted to put that nice drop down overhead bed in. Well, that's nice because it makes essentially every floor plan in the Aria a bunk model, but then to add the additional bunks and some of the other things. So um, the first thing you notice when you walk inside is the fact that there's true opposing seating. Typically, when you see a bunk, the, the booth dinette or, or the regular dinette is gonna be literally right next to the sofa. And so with this one, we've actually been able to design it where they're across from one another, more like an opposing seating toward a layout. And you know, we're challenged because trying to keep the coach around 40 feet, have bunks, have an overhead bed, you know, have enough room up front where the living room is gonna give you enough to really live in, you know, for full timers right. and everything else, it, it makes it difficult. But we, the way we organize the space, we we're able to do that and then what was really neat is that we even were able to expand this dinette. So this dinette is huge. And you know, obviously the whole idea behind this floor plan is how many people can we bring along comfortably? Right. And in this coach, believe it or not, and I don't know if anybody else can say this, even in a 45 footer, but you could sleep 10 adults comfortably in this unit with a galley, with the, the full size bunks. We didn't shorten those at all. And then when you get to the back of the coach, you even get a king bed. And you know, as we were designing it, we were thinking, oh my goodness, you know, you know, where are some of the challenges gonna be? And, you know, we were like, well, how can you segment everything off? We were still able to incorporate pocket doors. Remember, we went back and forth on oh, trying to huge. figure out how we could tuck those in because with a lot of these bunks, either it's in the bedroom or it's in the living room, right. so you can't really segment off the space. So we were able to do that, which, you know, it took round and round. I mean, I think it took us like three weeks to figure out how to line everything up. And then the last thing was, you know, how about putting a tub shower in the, in the middle of the coach? Because, right. you know, with smaller children or even with pets, you know, how, how difficult it is to be able to, you know, make right. sure that you can take care of the whole family. And, and we were able to do that. And then tossing a king bed in the back. I and mean, that's, again, something you just never see because again, with, you know, having to rely upon and, and use up all this space with, with bunks, it takes away from everywhere. And we were still able to manage it. It is such a great use of space inside these coach, having the dual showers. You know, it just creates a whole new uh, type of livability, especially in the evening, you know, when the day is over. Yeah, and I probably want to run down here to get with you guys because nobody's really seen this floor plan before. And in our business, R&D doesn't stand for research and development. It stands for research and duplicate. Right. Um, and, and or replicate or whatnot. And so we, you know, we have something that's new and different. And so that's why I was so excited to come down to see you so that we could actually take everybody through this unique, unique floor plan. I'm really excited to see uh, everything that you've done on the inside of the new Aria 4000. Uh, but first, can you take us for a tour uh, and show us a little bit uh, about what's different about Aria itself, you know, from a chassis standpoint, from a build standpoint, and uh, what makes this such an incredible product throughout the line? Well, so, you know, taking a look at this coach from the beginning, Donnie, one of the things that's very unique about the Aria is the fact that we really cut down on the overall space between the front cap and the front firewall as well as the rear cap and the rear wall. That's how we were able to put so much inside this coach. Uh, we literally took 10 inches of space out of the overall length of it. Uh, otherwise, wow. this coach would have probably been closer to 42 or 43 foot long. You'll notice you got the nice large mirrors up front that are chrome. The cameras are integrated right into the mirrors there. So again, just from a visibility standpoint, we really made it easy on the driver. One thing we found with the Aria, with all the success that it's had, is that there's been a lot of first time buyers that have actually come into Aria as their first purchase because when they sit down in, on that, in that cab chair, they're so far forward and then with such visible mirrors, it feels like you know driving a car. So it made it much more easy for them. Access into the coach is, is simple uh, from this front entry. 
and then obviously the fuel fills are, are way up above uh, the belt line so it makes for a nice easy fill on the coaches. A lot of times what you'll find um, with a lot of the, the different competitive motorhomes is that the fuel fills are down low. Well that doesn't mean that the fuel tank's in any different place, that just means that the fuel has to go up to go down. So we want to make sure when the customer gets into the fuel stop, um, it's an easy fill, it's not going to come back on them, and these are dual fuel fills. So um, the, depending on where the station is at and located, you can maneuver this coach around very easily to be able to deal with that. Very smart design. And then obviously, you know, big Michelin tires on board. We do have the aluminum wheels that are standard on this and every Thor diesel product. And then obviously the, the paint scheme is amazing. Uh, this is Heritage, this is probably one of our most popular, but it seems to me every other day uh, we were talking about the sapphire with the blue that's yes. done really well. And then we have really two nice stunning silvers. Uh, there's a Odyssey color and then also the sterling. And so all four color schemes really put us out there with a nice representative look. Great, each one of your colors really uh, are a beautiful coach. We upgraded the paint schemes for the later part of the RE introduction where we went to a skim buff on the outside. So it's, it's actually got a little bit more finished work on the Sickens brand paint. We're putting three to five coats of paint per color and then we also put a, a nice UV baked on clear coating. So, you know, it really gets a lot of attention as you're rolling down the road. Right, and of course that Sickens brand paint is the uh, type that never actually fully cures. So you don't get a lot of those stress cracks and things like you see in other products and, and older units, you know, when you see them that are seven, eight years old, you see a lot of imperfections and stuff in the paint that'll have those little uh, stress cracks that open up on them. You do, because with the side walls and the front and rear caps, these are all made of fiberglass and fiberglass will expand and contract with, with temperature change. And you know, one of the nice luxuries of owning a motorhome is you can take it anywhere you want. And in this particular one, you can take a lot of people anywhere you want. <laughs> yes, you can. And uh, yeah, so the paint will actually have the flexibility and allow elasticity to be able to change with the fiberglass as it as it deals with the different temperatures it can encounter. Absolutely. One of the things that you find with any diesel coach is that customers are going to use these coaches more and right. when it comes to using them it's not only how much room you have to live in inside the coach with this nice big full wall slide but it's also how much basement space you have to take all that stuff with you and and we really do a good job of making sure that you're going to have plenty of storage. It's a tall storage area. You can see if we move on back, there's even more, more to go. It, it, oh, yeah. it seems like it just keeps going and done. You can even open that third uh, baggage room, this believe it or not. There's, there's more storage in there too. So you, you won't find a motorhome <laughs> in this price class that has believe. anywhere near the amount. But what's even better is the fact that we actually buy these coaches, the chassis for these coaches, and we spend more money on the, on the foundation and the chassis. This is on a Freightliner, and the Freightliner chassis we're using on this coach has a 35,320 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And so what that means is, folks, is that after um, you put fuel and water and load it up with 10 people, it's got a ton of space. Just with a quarter tank of fuel, this coach has over 4,000, I think it's like 500 pounds of available weight. So not really? only do you have the room, but you can actually put stuff in here um, that, that you want to. I, I joke with a You've lot of- You've got a 4,000 CCC in there? It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, you could be a rock collector, Donnie, <laughs> and, and, and you could own this motorhome because it's got that much room. And, and then we, we build our foundation on top of this Freightliner chassis. It's called the Atlas Foundation that also has a lot of strength to it. So if you, if you look up in the bays, you can actually see these huge hybrid trusses. And you'll wow. notice that those trusses actually don't rest on the frame rails. And what's really neat about that is that this coach rides so quiet down the road because the frame rails of the Freightliner chassis, they're designed to be the, the backbone of the coach. And so they absorb a lot of that energy and stress. And so we've spanned these hybrid trusses over and above the frame rail so that energy doesn't go up into the house. And so when you're running down the road, and you're realizing, you know what, I can use this coach just as well when I'm traveling as when I'm sitting in a park somewhere enjoying myself. And, you know, we, we talked about it a little bit earlier when we were, we were looking at the inside, but th there's so much room even when the slides are closed. I mean, you can right. get to the, to the bathroom, you can get to the bed. I mean, so shoot, important, it, especially in a floor plan like this, and you're going to have so many kids and family members with you. You want the kids to be able to safely get to the restrooms while you're traveling to get inside the refrigerator, you know, to get the necessities when you're going down the road, which is the whole point of the thing in the first place. And it's great to see you pull off so much in this coach, but make it so livable when you're actually rolling down the road as well. Yeah, I mean, this this floor plan and this motorhome really lends to, you know, all different uh, generations of buyer. And obviously there's a lot of people that are still working that are gonna own a coach like this. And so how great is it that your journey 
is almost as fun as when you actually get to the destination. <laughs> and th that's what we do with these coaches is we, we take a look and figure out how to make them enjoyable both ways. And, and, and that's a really big deal. And, and, and the foundation that we're building just makes that ride so much better. So when, when you have you know, more room to live in, you can bring more stuff with you, and you have a ride that's gonna be better than these other coaches that are built on a Freightliner, it just makes for the experience to be that much, much greater than it would before. And that's where your coaches are so different uh, is when you see them in the pre-owned uh, line to where, you know, sales guys get in your coaches that are seven years old and roll down the road and the people still loved how tight and quiet the ride was because it makes the, the cabinets, the flooring, the tile, everything inside that coach stay much more quiet inside the coach. So, you know, again, it's not just for that initial test drive, but it's for you know the, the ability to own this coach seven, 10 years and still be just as proud to get behind the wheel uh, you know, 10 years down the road as you are when you first buy it. You can do it, you can do it. And hey, and one other thing I wanted to mention, I almost skipped over, but uh, with our exterior TVs, so we talked about egress before, and one thing that I challenged our engineers on was, I, I wanted to be able to make these TVs more usable, but I didn't want to take away any more usable space on the inside of the coach. And so we just recently, and actually this might be the second or third coach we've even built with this, but really? we now have the ability to actually turn this TV and adjust it. And obviously oh, cool. we never know where the sun's going to be, right? And so we have the ability to be able to take it out, but we didn't actually have to build this coach out with any more depth to be able to do it. And then you'll notice we have these beautiful sound bars that are also on board. Uh, a lot of people don't even use the TVs on the outside, but they like right. to be able to listen to music. Uh, or they want to watch the game, but it's so darn noisy because they're at the tailgate and everybody else is doing the same thing. And this right. will actually produce additional sound for the TV as well. And, really and we've gone to bigger TVs and they're, they, they easily tuck away when you don't want to use them. And it just makes for, for a much better situation than we've had before. And you know, before, you know, people will hesitate about these full wall slides because, oh, it takes my patio space away. But you'll notice now that you have the TV on the slide and then you even have this nice big patio on it with no arms that almost spans the full length of the slide box. So right. you almost have as much room to live outside the coach as you do inside. It's really nice that it's uh, you know not at one end or the other, uh, like you find in so many other floor plans too, to where even though it's under an awning, it's not far enough under an awning to keep it literally you know, to where if it is raining, you can still use your television. That's right. And, and you know, moving on so back. What do we got here? We, this is the water tank. So you're going to okay. have your gray and your black tanks here. Um, there is a, a place where you can actually, you know, have a sight line to see as you're using the gravity fill. And this fill. is the gravity fill? Yeah, because I mean, how many times are you someplace where, you know, you're in an area where you can't have water pressure and you sure. just need to be able to put some water in the tank to take a quick shower or whatnot. You can, you can fill that up really easily. Now that's uh, right nice from this and area something here. that you, you don't see very often anymore. They'll skip that step. It is, and, and, and this area of the coach is also heated, which sometimes um, gets failed to mention. Uh, we put some nice big furnaces on board inside. Okay. And so then we also duct heat from that second furnace down into the into the wet bay. So um, there's actually heat that's being channeled down there. So if you if you do like to use the coaches in, in colder weather, you can do that. Speaking of you know being more of an all season type of coach, the, the insulation that we put into the floors and the sidewalls and the roof is, is also something that we need to, to, to cover briefly. We just recently built a new 110,000 square foot lamination building that's going to supply all five of our campuses in Elkhart. Wow. And it has brand new vacuum bonding equipment. We use a lot of the same machinery that they use in the aircraft industry to make sure that all the layers combine into one. We use two pound version block foam insulation in our floors coupled with inch and a half tubular steel where a lot of the industry is going to be using you know wood floors of you know two by fours that literally connect the house with the chassis. We don't do that. All the aluminum in the sidewalls and the roof is aircraft grade inch and a half up to a quarter inch thick aluminum. I mean, you can see above these slides and when we go on the inside where there's literally six inch headers. With some of the other manufacturers, they don't do full wall slides, which then they can't capitalize on the extra square footage or be innovative with you know the way that we set up these floor plans, but we can do it because the strength that's in the wall. We own the biggest uh, aluminum supplier to the industry in POSCO. We bought them for 160 million, Thor Industries did a few years ago. And so we're able to leverage our vertical integration to make sure that the construction of this motorhome is done in a way that, again, when you have a chassis that's going to be able to last you 500,000 to a million miles, why not build a box that's going to be able to hold up and stand the test of time and be quiet 
and keep your family warm or keep it cool depending on what environment you're in. And, and that's what we're doing with the way we build these things. We don't even put any wood in the roof when it comes to structure. Everything's done with aluminum rafters now. It's just tremendous and there's no attic airspace. It's all laminated, laser cut, polystyrene that we build in with the, with the roof ducts and, and just make sure everything's well contained. It's, it's awesome what we do out there. When you're, we're a company, we're gonna be building almost 20,000 motorhomes this year. It allows us to, to purchase equipment because we're building so many that we can we have the ability to afford this type of equipment and, and that's you know part of the reason why we're where we're at in this in this industry well Donnie, now that you've opened these bays up for us why don't we talk about a few of the things that we can see back here first of all you notice the 12 volt chassis batteries that are on board one of the things i like to point out about this bay is that there is a full chassis disconnect that's very easily accessible. And so if you ever wanna leave this coach for a few months at a time and you wanna eliminate the ability for a parasitic drain to go onto the batteries, you can shut the whole system off and it keeps everything well maintained. Um, now, it isn't as necessary to do that with, with our coaches, however, because we've done something new. We first tried this out on the, on the Tuscany and it was so popular that we decided to do it on all our diesels, but there's actually, believe it or not, a 100 watt solar panel standard on every diesel motorhome from the Palazzo up through the Tuscany that gets two. But you can see the, uh, the charge controller right there. This charger will uh, literally take up to 300 watt panels if you want it to and take the, the word trickle charge out of your vocabulary because this is a steady charge of the house batteries even when um, the, the house power supply is turned off to keep and maintain the life and health of your house batteries. You can see in addition to the 100 watt panel that, that we have and, and the charge controller, uh, we put a nice big 2000 watt inverter so that all your interior systems with your TVs and your microwave and your refrigerator and, and every outlet inside runs off of the inverter. So you do have the ability if you're in an area where um, you want to dry camp and maybe you don't want to run the generator, you sure. do have your systems inside that you can run without having to do that. Such a great feature and great to know that it's available throughout your diesel line. I did not know that it was part of the Palazzo. We're the first right. company to, to make solar standard on all our units and a lot of people don't even realize when they're purchasing the unit that you get them, but <laughs> it, it's, it's really an added bonus. Tell us a little bit about the Aria's power plant. We've talked about chassis, but the engine transmissions themselves, is it, is it the same uh, it power is. plant in each unit? It is. So we. We choose not to have two different ones. I know a lot of the business, um, you see a 340 and a 360. We build every one of our Arias with the 360 horsepower ISB motor, so the 6.7 liter. And then we're coupling every one of these with a 3000 six speed Allison transmission. And, and that's a big deal because uh, yes, first and foremost, um, what it's going to do is it's give you the most torque. And, and torque means a lot to our RV customers because there is a lot of weight that, that's, that's available here. I mean, this coach itself is, is 35,320, but then this coach will take an additional 10,000 pounds of tow. Um, a lot of the coaches that you find that compete against the Aria, um, you know, you may have 3,500 pounds, you may have 5,000 pounds, and sometimes it depends on how much you put in the unit as sure. to how much you can pull along with you because it, it gets maxed out at 33,000. With our coaches, this coach can take up to 45,320 pounds overall. So we wanna put that bigger transmission in so that we have the 800 pound feet of torque. So this coach can move up mountains. Um, it can pull the necessary amount of weight that we want it to. So with that said, I know we're gonna be extensively reviewing the 4,000 today, but talking a little bit more about the floor plans themselves, you know, talking about the power plant being throughout the model line, Tell us a little bit more about each of the other floor plans that are available. The thing is with this price point, you know, everything's been done before. And so we were trying to figure out, well, how can we do a 34 and a 36 and a 39 and a 40 and put more in them? Well, the simple way to do it is to figure out a way to not invest as much room that's not in the floor plan. So, you know, where that loss was, and I mentioned it before, but you know, between the cap in the end wall and the front cap in the, in the firewall, we just shaved all that down. And so it just gave us more luxury. And then when you, when you add to it, the full wall slide phenomenon, which, you know, we really started really kind of capitalizing on a few years ago, but then we've learned some things about how we can even do more. And then 
finally, we, we've added these um, these tilt-a-view rear beds, which has right. even added even more space in the brand. So that even allowed us to move some other stuff that couldn't be across from the bed to being across the bed. So it's kind of like the perfect storm right now. And so when we start out with like, say the 34 footer, for instance, you know, every 34 footer that you look at in the, in the industry, Donnie, is over 35 feet long. Well, um, people say, well, why does that even mean anything? Well, it means a lot because um, especially out West, and as you know, I'm from Oregon, um, these parks, some of them say 35 feet is it. We, with the 3401, have literally the only coach really out there that measures under 35 feet. How great is that? And when you look at that coach with you know, a king bed and it's got this huge bathroom with a, with a huge shower and then you know, it's got that same dinette that we have in this 4000 where it's, it's massive and again, the theater seating and what we were really excited is you know in the in the past we've always had to have a sofa somewhere because there wasn't a place to sleep but then when we designed in this nice drop down bed in the front that allowed us to put more comfortable seating in the living space and not to mention you know if i already mentioned it it's got a king bed which is crazy and and you know wardrobe space was another thing that was limited in, in that coach and so again when we added the tilt of view because of where the water heater was placed and where the stackable washer dryer, because by the way, everything that we build in this coach has a king bed and a stackable washer dryer. Who else can say that? But that stackable takes up about one third of the wardrobe. And so what we were able to do is move the TV to the rear side of the passenger side on that slide out. And then that whole forward area is wardrobe because we were able to build it out. Now it was a great idea. And great we, idea throughout the floor plans. Yep. Now the 36 footer uh, yes. from the thir from the 34, what separates it from, uh, so from the other model? It, so it's, it's nice because again, it's like kind of a little bit different setup where it's more of a mid-living sort of arrangement. And we were able to put the dinette up front. It's got a nice big galley, the, the refrigerator's up towards the front of the coach. And then the way that we position the fireplace and the television at the corner of that bathroom, um, it really just kind of creates a nice open space, kind of segments everything from the kitchen area. And then again, you know, it's a split bath. So for those people that don't want, you know, all in one bathroom, you know, we have the shower across from the bath arrangement and then move into the back of the coach. Again, a king bed. And then we have where we redesigned it, which you actually just got the first one in with the new design, but we, we did that same idea with the 3401 where we built out the wardrobe. So right. now where we had a limited amount of wardrobe space, uh, we have much more and it's nice because both the 3401 and the 3601 are spinoffs of previous successful floor plans that we had. We just made them better. We learned right. on where we could put better space in. And again, with the 36, it's not longer than 36. It's like 36 and change. I think 36.3 or something. Um, I'm off, maybe off by a couple of inches. I apologize, but <laughs> it's, 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 it's right in that 36 foot range. And then, you know, you already mentioned it, but um, moving along to the 3901, Literally, yeah. we've never uh, had a floor plan that's taken off like this one has. Uh, yeah. What a huge uh, retail success story the 3901's been so far. Incredible, and and um, you know for those Californians that are out there that are worried about mo going over 40 feet, we just talked to, to Mark Griffith, your sales manager this morning, and right. uh, we had a couple of your customers that had a particular park they wanted to go in that they limit to 40 feet, and they had, I guess, a, a park ranger that was measuring every last inch and, every and inch. we had to provide documentation to them that right. it didn't measure over 40 but believe it or not folks this is an opposing seating bath and a half floor plan which we've seen so many over the years it's always been the number one seller but it's opposing seating bath and a half it's got the nice big raised up tv with the theater seats it's got this huge galley which anytime we ever had anything under 40 feet with opposing seating the galleys were always compromised and people were always right. disappointed but this has a, as big a galley as you're going to find anywhere with a nice big pull out countertop extension. Because the galley's on the curb side, we had the foresight to put a nice big bay window in. So when yes. you're there washing dishes or you're at the kitchen, you can actually look out and you know watch, watch the grandkids playing outside. We were able to put a fireplace in it, which I don't even know how they found the room for that, but uh, we have a nice, nice uh, fireplace that faces forward with an additional television and then a, a roomy half bath. And then again, a king bed and then a huge shower in the rear. It's a, it's our 30 by 42 inch shower, which, you know, again, when, when we're trying to figure out a way to put this kind of living room is how can you have a nice rear bathroom? But guess what? We were able to do that too. So there's really nothing that that coach is missing. And uh, we have seen a, a, a few iterations of the floor plan, but nobody's really been able to quite get it done the way we have, which we're really excited about. And, and on top of that, just beautiful coaches. We talked about the exterior paints, but all of your interior decors this year, 
uh, the exceptional selection that you have in woods, you know, you can't make a mistake. Yeah. All of your woods are absolutely beautiful. The leathers, the fabrics, everything was really well done throughout the product line. And I know that that's got to lend itself to a, a lot of its success as well. Thank you. Something that y'all are doing with the, with the freight liners, and I know it's not part of, of every freight liner chassis, uh, but something that y'all are doing here in the Aria and the V-Ride suspension system. Could you tell us a little bit more about the, the new, uh, new V-Ride? If we go back 10 years ago, a lot of people would buy the longer coaches because they felt, you know, it just was a safer, smoother ride having a tag, but they really didn't want to go that long. Um, they just knew that the ride was going to be that much better. And so what Freightliner essentially did is they designed a single axle that emulates the characteristics in the ride of a tag without having to either A, sacrifice the 30 inches of storage that adding an extra, you know, wheels and axles is going to do, B, um, you know, taking you know additional money that you're going to have to spend because the axles and tires and everything and suspension that goes with it costs money. And see, I can actually have a coach of the right length, so you know both myself and my partner feel comfortable driving it. Because as we know in these diesels, you have a 55 degree wheel cut; they're much more maneuverable. And then we, as as a company, we buy all of our chassis and the wheelbases for the floor plan specific. We don't cut and stretch and do all these things so everything's going to ride exactly the way it's supposed to and then when you add the atlas foundation down to it um, it makes for for a magical experience and, and so that's that's what we're doing here and and thank goodness for for freightliner and, and and their technology you know one thing that's nice about freightliner is is that they're part of the daimler group so all that mercedes technology um, and all those mercedes engineers it all filters down into, into the truck side of the business and it's made for, for a happy marriage between the two of us. It really does make for uh, an exceptional ride and drive. Well, we are here at the rear cap and as I mentioned before, it's, it, this coach has a pure 10,000 pound hitch rating in the back. You can see the seven way hitch plug. Uh, we do integrate those into the cap. Beautiful LED, a rear tail light, marker lights up above are going to be the same. Um, we do add docking lights on either side of the camera as well. One thing we found more and more is people are asking for the ability and easier time of being able to park the vehicles at night. So we do that on all our units where we add these rear docking lights. A ladder, uh, which will always come in handy uh, so you can get up on the roof if you need to. The roof skin that we use on our aluminum roofs is a uh, TPO, which is uh, thermal polyolefin, so very um, high-end commercial grade roof material it's a it's a it's a woven material it's got a 12 year warranty on it so right. That's um, very deal. industrious and you know the same thing that you're going to find on you know all the big domes and you know uh, walmart i know is it's it's a common uh, roof material but uh, um, what's so nice about it, it's very pliable so um, we can we can take it right around the radiuses we're not stressing anything and it'll hold up and, and stand the test of time and we use that material on a majority of our coaches that we manufacture so moving around here to the driver's side of the coach. Yeah, you can see we have your 50 amp cord. Uh, one thing that's really nice for us too is that we have a, a transfer switch that has a surge suppression device built into it. So you know, you're ever into a part that you're unfamiliar with, you're not quite sure what you have coming in, this is gonna protect your whole vehicle from any, any types of problems that could, could happen from, from the wrong type of equipment. A uh, really important piece to, to add to the coach for sure. Yep, and then you got your, your house batteries here as well. And you know, these are nice, well insulated aluminum baggage doors that we're opening up here, very well sealed. And then when you get inside here, you, know, you have nice height above your, uh, your six volt battery. So when you're having to deal with maintaining the, the distilled water levels in the batteries, it's, it's very easy to do. Some of these uh, coaches have batteries where they're just crammed in and you know, it's very difficult right. to be able to check and, and, and maintain. Again, you know, the batteries are gonna be a lot healthier anyway because we do have that constant solar uh, charge that, that's gonna be happening uh, all along the way. Here, uh, uh, I see you've got your DEF tank. We do, and we locate it specifically and strategically on the driver's side of the coach. One thing that's nice with DEF, now that it's really required on any of your diesel products, whether it be cars or, or uh, trucks or, or, or RVs, um, when you go to the truck centers, uh, you have the ability now to get DEF on the pump. You know, how great is that? You don't have right. to lug around a big five gallon, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, canister of the stuff. And um, it's, a, it's a 13 gallon uh, diesel exhaust fluid tank. Um, it's gonna last you anywhere between somewhere 3,000, 3,500 miles. 
um, and you have a nice indicator on the dash that'll tell you when you need to fill it up. Right. Uh, but it's. Uh, it, and I like how you've got the the indicator on the outside as well, though, uh, where you can just spot check it from outside as well. You can do it's it. A nice but, deal. Um, and then moving along here, uh, we have the wet bay compartment. Again, it's a heated area. Um, you have the ability to light up, light this up. You can see that you actually can pivot the sewer connection. So uh, when you get done dumping, you can flip that up so you don't get that extra drip at the end. Um, we did just recently add these new valve systems on here, the Anderson system, which is just a, a much easier design, easy to, to winterize, to adjust all of your levels. You got a sewer tank flush, you got a shower, and then you also have a central water filter they put on board as well. So any That's of the, the whole coach? The whole coach filter. So yeah, any of the water that comes into the unit passes through that filter before it reaches any of the appliances. And this bay, like the tanks itself, this is this bay completely heated? It is. This, this runs all the way across uh, to what we saw on the other side. And so this entire contained area is heated from the elements. Awesome. I also really like how you place a exterior floodlight for that particular area of the coach as well. Light that up at night when you're uh, when you're hooking up. Well, thanks. So obviously down here, this is going to be primarily storage. Um, this front one, uh, I know is going to have the slide out tray that uh, you can actually slide out from both sides of the coach, which is a really nice convenience. What else do we have from a standpoint of, um, of, of heating uh, and cooling on this coach? Well, um, you know, first and foremost, the windows, I, I almost forgot to mention, but we put dual pane windows on all of our diesel units. It's standard equipment, um, the, the frameless style, so they, they really uh, do a good job of kind of, you know, staying hidden um, in, in the sidewall. Um, and then the one thing that I really like about our windows the most is the fact that we use the top hinged style. Um, the one negative uh, that I could say about a, a frameless window is the fact that ventilation could, could be compromised if you use the wrong version. But because we add these top hinge windows in, um, you get so much more open space. So you get that nice, cool breeze that's able right. to enter in the coach. There's a lot of places where you don't need air conditioning and these really do a nice job. And, and obviously because they are this style of window, um, you can leave them open um, when it's raining outside. Whereas, you know, with other styles of windows, right. you know, you, you're not able to keep the water in. But um, in addition to the ventilation too, when you're sitting on the sofa, you're sitting on your theater seats um, and some of the floor plans that we have, you don't, you don't look right into a bar as, as you're looking out into the environment. All right. um, even the cab windows on our coaches are dual pane. So, you know, a place of the coach where, you know, obviously you don't want a lot of ambient noise. Um, you want to be able to keep that area comfortable and cool or, or warm, depending on where you're at. We, right. we have the ability to do that. And Donnie, while we're on the subject of heating and cooling, I can't forget to mention the 15 BTU air conditioners on board this coach. So we have two 15 BTU air conditioners and they both have heat pumps on them, which again is it's unique huge. because a lot of these coaches that, again, in this segment, you know, one or the other is going to have a heat pump on it. But what's so great about having a heat pump is down to 43 degrees ambient temperature, you can literally heat the coach with the air conditioners. And then again, being 15s and not 13 fives, you know, if you are in, you know, the heat of the summer somewhere and you do have a lot of people on board, everybody's going to stay happy because the coach is going to stay nice and cool for you. They're so important in this part of the country. As we move on along, I mentioned dual dual fuel fill. You can see that there's the, the second fuel fill on the one side. Um, we want to make sure that these coaches stay nice and level. Again, there's going to be a lot of people in this coach, more than likely, with, with all, the, all the seating and all the sleeping areas. But we have a nice hydraulic leveling system. It's a four-point system. It's, it's dual actuated, so it's hydraulic down and hydraulic up. Some of the systems that you'll encounter are spring-loaded systems. And the problem with the spring-loaded systems, if they get older and you know debris gets within them, they can get stuck in the down position. Obviously, we want to make sure between leveling systems and slide outs and right. everything's working properly. And I'll get into slide outs in a, in a little bit, but um, we always try to put the best types of systems on board. Lippert does a great job of, uh, Lippert Components, who's our vendor, of, of working with us on some of the different offerings they have so that we can really specialize and hone in these motorhomes so they're the most reliable they can possibly be. And speaking of re reliability, um, the power plants that you use for the generator, uh, you're running all uh, Onan uh, diesel products, right? We do, and you know, because this coach has a Cummins on board already, um, when we pop the hood here, um, you'll see uh, that we put an eight kilowatt own and quiet diesel Jenner on board. So um, it's got a nice safety latch where you just pull that on the, on the left side. Yep, and then that'll release it. And you can see that we have a, 
a huge Onan uh, quiet diesel generator. And again, we have to go to the bigger gen when we go to the bigger air conditioners. If we right. were looking at 13 and a half, we, we wouldn't be required to do that. But we want to make sure everything on board is powered. And uh, because Cummins and Onan are, are, you know, there's a happy marriage there. Um, if you ever have to get, you know, maintenance done, servicing done, um, you can go to any of these, these Cummins Onan shops and, and have it all done um, as one stop shopping. And it is so quiet. And we do locate the generator in the front to, to, to again balance out the unit. One thing we didn't talk about earlier with Atlas, um, which really goes in with all the components too, is that every single Atlas foundation is designed and built specific to every motorhome that we build. So it's not only the length and the brand, uh, but literally the floor plan. So if we have a couple different 40 foot floor plans, we actually are gonna design it uh, to, to take into account where all the weight of that floor plan is so we can balance it out as best as we possibly can. We do the same thing with components as well. We wanna try to locate everything where, you know, one side of the coach isn't gonna be overloaded, and, and, the, and the ride is gonna be as balanced as possible with as much weight below the belt line, and that allows that coach to travel uh, very comfortably down the road. It also helps with safety, because we don't want any part of the coach to be overloaded, and I mentioned that carrying capacity earlier, but the tires and the axles um, go hand in hand, and so we don't want any of our customers to overload their vehicle, because obviously if you're traveling you know, down the highway at high velocity with your family on board, right. you know, we want to make sure there's not going to be a blowout and things like that. So there's always going to be extra weight uh, availability in our products. And then the very final thing we do with safety, because safety is so important to our company, is that we actually build in some extra safety precautions. So this coach, as you'll notice, uh, you can see the black in there. That's a steel firewall. Uh, believe it or not, there's coaches out there where literally the, the companies are spray painting the front firewalls black uh, to give them the appearance of steel when it's really just a, just a wood product. Um, and then we go further than that though, Donnie. We don't just put a steel firewall in these coaches. We literally build a steel structure. Actually, Morai does, who, who's our, our, the company that we partner with that builds our Atlas Foundation. They right. build a steel cockpit structure that goes in over the A-pillars, which are these posts that are on either side of the windshield and then across the forehead of the coach. So this has a full steel firewall and cockpit structure that's reinforced in the front of the coaches. So, you know, if you were to run into a situation where you had an accident, it's, it, you have that peace of mind of knowing that there's steel that's surrounding you and keeping you from, from any problems that could potentially happen. And the Aria, I mean, has a beautiful new front end. I mean, really aggressive. I love how the front is so unique and that, you know, the fiberglass runs from the top to the bottom without really any breaks. Gives you this huge, uh, almost like a, a canvas for the paint here on the front. Well, let's put the slide out rooms out and take a look at what the coach has to offer on the inside. Yeah, so here we are on the inside of this massive 40 foot Aria. Um, obviously, you know, with these opposing slides and especially this large full wall slide, it really, you know, shows you what I was talking about when it comes to right. massive, you know, square footage. Um, we're really lucky because again, partnering with Lipper Components, we have this three track system that is a proprietary design that we only use here on the Thor Motor Coach projects. That's really allowed us to, to kind of just leverage all the, that extra, you know, engineering and development time to, to really try to you know, capitalize on as much at maximizing the space as we possibly can. Now, it does make a huge difference in, in a lot of your floor plans having the full wall. And I'm sure you notice, you know, walking up the entry steps, you have that nice solid surface. It's all lit up, you know, in the dash area and, you know, that solid surface platform. Uh, we also developed an R&D. It's unique to us and it'll raise on up and, you know, cover up the whole area. So, you know, it'll, it makes for a nice, complete, you know, front end of the, of the sure, unit. A, a true flush floor and the coach has a great look from the time you hit the door. The, uh, I like the additional LED lights that you added actually into the dash besides the grab handle. Uh, just really makes for a beautiful entryway into the coach. Yep, and you know, one thing that we, we hear from a lot of people is they hardly even notice this overhead bed that we have up front. You know, one of the things that we really challenged our group on was, you know, how can we put in an extra sleeping space without it interfering with other parts of the unit? And so we designed the cap not only to be shallower, but we also built up the forehead above the windshield. And so you'll notice that this drop down overhead bed, um, you know, there's plenty of room and clearance. So you're not having to duck down as you're right. coming in. Most people don't even realize that it's there. And because we're the only company in the business that's building a bed design like this, it really leaves for 
for a huge advantage and again something that's not interfering with the rest of the unit so if you just have a few guests you know you have the the bunks that are designated right. in the floor plan and then you also have this this bunk area up front that'll hold 500 pounds. I was going to say, I mean, a, a, you know, a couple can sleep up here. Yeah, you, you have a ladder that hooks in, so it's easy to get on and off. And um, this seems to be the one of the favorite portions <laughs> of the coach for the for the youngins when they want to get up and, and sleep on it. But a yep. full adult can can do as well because you know it spans the full 96 inch interior of the coach. So with the rest of the living room, you know, I, I talked about it before. But um, the, the space with the opposing seating, and you know, as you can see, you have a really great congregation of space. Whether the, you know the cab chairs are flipped around, or you're here with the dinette and the sofa, right. you know, everybody's in a nice space where you know you can have as many as you know four sitting here with with three on the other side, and you know, obviously with the cab chairs with so much sleeping, um, it just makes for a much more inviting area of the coach, and everybody's not turning to the side to talk to right. one another. And to me, what's really important is that the kids all have a great seat when you're going down the road. You know, you can buckle them up, but having the TV mounted uh, where this one is, that's where the kids can sit here across from the TV going down the road. You can still keep them buckled up. Uh, it just makes for, uh, you know, a great way to travel uh, besides just the living area, you know, once you get there. Again, it makes the coach very usable going down the road. Yeah, and we, we also leveraged the, uh, the, the length that we had available here because this is actually an 88 inch booth dinette. And so with the table being wider, the TV is out of the way. So you can literally have people sitting on either side and you're not you know, interfering with the view with the TV. And then it also just kind of by accident made for a longer sleeping space. You can lay down comfortably. We, we also, for the first time, incorporated some cup holders. And one of the things that kind of goes unnoticed a lot of times is, is moving the dinette to the curbside because as we all know, when we're ever traveling, um, the patio side of the coach is the side of the coach that we want to right. be able to look out upon. And you know, with having the windows on either side, you can look out on uh, the, the scenic side of the coach, and sure, and you know, you can be able to. That's you know, where check your family out is, and yeah. yeah, your family and friends. That's where they're, you know, that's where they're all congregating. So it is nice to, to have the uh, curbside dinette, and the table uh, is just monstrous. And something that you really don't get in in any in not a 45 foot i've never seen a table that large but it is so practical you just don't think about i mean literally being able to have plates and still have room to actually have food in the middle of the table you know to serve from uh, it's just unheard of in an rv a lot of industry first and then you know the final ingredient we just added actually late in the model year but we even added a drawer underneath the uh the dinette here cool that if you can pull out you can see uh, for extra storage and nice. whatnot. So, so we're starting to do that in, in most of the Aria floor plans as well. And I really like the high quality sound bar that y'all put in this coach. Yeah, you know, we're we're starting to use the sound bars quite often because, you know, with this confined space, it, it really provides you with a nice surround sound type of system for your home theater, um, as well as, you know, just listening to music and entertaining because yep. it does have that Bluetooth feature on it. So, you know, if you like the Spotify or Apple Music, you can sure. just, you know, program all your all your music right through that, and it it really does a great job. And you know, the way that it's been mounted, you, we're still not sacrificing any of the storage uh, that you can access from oh, underneath. Cool. And uh, you can see with all the overheads that we have in here, um, they've really done a good job of of building out the depth and, and making sure that there's a lot of usable space. You know, across from the sofa, you know, you can see there's a, just a tremendous amount of depth in here. So that, uh, you know, obviously there's gonna be a lot of people more than likely in this coach and we wanna try to really be able to capitalize along that. Um, and then obviously, Donnie, moving into the galley, you can see you'd anticipate again with opposing seating, large dinette, two bathrooms. You know, the galley's gonna have to be small, right? But it's a, it it's a two level galley. You know, it's got the extra pull out drawer with the extra countertop space as well on it. Induction cooktop stainless steel sink just an awesome setup you know full convection microwave it's whirlpool you know we we really try to do the the nicer high-end appliances and right you know not to not to mention the cabinetry itself i mean the the quality that you see in here you know we we use um a couple different amish companies that are right there local in napanee uh right near the factory and so we have the you know the the experience of these these longtime sawyers that are putting together this hardwood cabinetry for us that really makes a huge difference. And, you know, especially in the, uh, the Aria price segment, um, most of our competitors still are using a lot of that, 
uh, press board and vinyl wrapping and, and things. And all of the cabinets that you see in this coach are, are a maple hardwood, including the styles and the rails. And so all the face frames, all your, your fascias, uh, this is all hardwood maple. So, you know, it's just gonna last longer. And again, you know, I, we talked about, you know, the, the chassis and the construction, but even the, the main materials that go inside the coach, you know, you're gonna have that same thing. I mean, if you look down at your feet, I mean, it's just amazing. This is all porcelain tile that runs the full length of the unit. Most of our competitors, when they do offer a porcelain, they only do it back to the bedroom and then there's carpet back there. Well, you know, obviously it's a lot easier to maintain a coach with a lot of people when it's all all tile. I mean, even right. underneath the dinette, we have That's you know, the all big place. porcelain. Yeah, I mean, think about, you know, how much dirt and, 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 and stuff could, could and wear down on the carpet. a lot of coaches that will have the carpet. A lot of coaches will have the carpet underneath the boots in particular. Yeah, and we, you need the tile the most. We do, and, and <laughs> one thing that we also do with our tile is that we put a, uh, a residential grade hardy backer down underneath the, the porcelain itself. And so right. although we put a neoprene down before we put that steel floor down to help with vibration, with this coach essentially being a rolling earthquake moving down the road, we want to really make sure that this tile is bonded correctly and there's a little extra cushion there so it's going to stand the test of time. Such an important step and one that very few uh, in the industry. Actually, y'all are the only ones I know that we're, put we're the, the only ones that are currently doing it. Down. So we're really proud of that fact. And it also makes the, the tiles themselves, the float a lot smoother. You don't get a lot of the uneven tiles uh, throughout the coach. It does make the floor itself just a lot truer uh, throughout. Um, you mentioned earlier about the uh, tiered countertop. Uh, this is awesome. And uh, this is the deepest one I've seen in the industry because a lot of them, they'll be for more decoration. You know, it's really the only purpose they can serve or maybe spices and things like that people will put up there. But you've made yours uh, deep enough that, you know, literally a, a coffee pot or, you know, even other appliances, you know, have space to sit up there just, you know, up and out of the way and still be able to keep the full countertop and just 110 plugs everywhere. We didn't miss on the window either. You know, there's a lot of these motorhomes anymore that we're, you're seeing fail to have the, the window in, in the galley. And right. it's always nice to have a little extra ventilation when you're cooking and you know just not feeling so confined in an area. We, we try to place windows anywhere we possibly can to really open up the environment on the coach. Right. And uh, I like how you kept your brands um, uh, true. You got a Whirlpool. Uh, microwave convection, you also want Whirlpool here on the residential refrigerator so you don't have mismatched appliances like you see so often. Uh, that's, a, that's a really nice uh, touch as well. It is and, and uh, you know, you get that. Yeah, it's, it's 16 cubic foot and you know it's going to be massive for, for what this coach has to offer and then right next door speaking of Whirlpool, yeah, got, um, you know we nice have a, a Whirlpool uh, stack washer dryer as well and again um, oh, it's yeah. hard to believe that we were able to pack everything into this coach and so to have this extra appliance right here and and uh, you know you obviously have your your, your laundry needs and, and we're not skipping out on that and it's nice to be able to know that every single floor plan that we build in the aria product has a stack washer dryer available in it and and speaking of you know with a lot of people too not only do you need a big residential refrigerator but also then having the pantries as well and so you'll notice that we we didn't miss on that nice. this has got a huge pull-out pantry on the one side and then when you move along to the other side of the coach and you open this up, um, again, just a, a well, nice depth. Yeah, it is. We, we really try to tuck in as much storage as we possibly can everywhere throughout the coach. And I mean, you can put just a load of dry goods in here that you can take along with you. And um, hard to believe that it just, it, it seems like they just found every nook and cranny to, to, to put the right stuff there. I know exactly. It's uh, just like these additional drawers even integrated into the bottom of the bunks. Just like you said, every every little space in the coach. One thing I also want to make sure we point out is that we're putting the larger bunks in. This is a true 28 by 74 inch bunk setup. So um, this is really a place where even adults could sleep if you needed sure. them to. And so we really tried to make this coach as versatile as we possibly can because it's not just about a family. It might be a bunch of guys that want to go on a golf trip together. You just sure. never know. And so you know we they're they're going to hold up a lot of weight. Um, you have the privacy and again Donnie we talked about the the pocket door in the front of the coach that separates from the living space but then again we have pocket doors that separate the bedroom right um, from 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 the uh, from the bunk area as well so um, it all closes off and again very very unusual to be able to find all these smart little 
things that yes. you don't think about when you're shopping for a bunk model. You don't think about, oh, I wish they were opposing seating. Oh, I wish we had a better galley. Oh, because you're just focused on the sleeping, but this has more sleeping and, 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 which is very, very unusual right. for us. And I mean, it was a brilliant design on your part, having the, the dual pocket doors the way that you did this, because at night, once everybody is actually uh, asleep, it almost creates like a bedroom area for these two bunks. The kids still have access to the to the bathroom at night. You know, you've got, they've got their, their built-in lights in their bed. So, you know, they're not waking up in the middle of the night to, you know, waking up people in the front of the coach, the back of the coach uh, that's sleeping. You know, if they got to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Uh, so like I said, it creates just a totally different uh, living arrangement than you would normally find in a bunk. It does, and, and speaking of this bath, I gotta show you what's inside. First of all, nice large single bowl sink. This is not a half bathroom anymore, it's a full bathroom. So you have the, the tub shower, number one. You know, we were wrestling with, you know, what can we do to make this a little bit different? Most of the times when you see a two bathroom model, it's both have showers. Well, right. you know, this is a very roomy shower, but yet it doubles as a tub. How often do you have people asking for tubs anymore? You do, but nobody ever builds them. So right. this has both choices. If you have a problem stepping up, you, you shower in the rear. If you need, you know, a, a tub area or, or, you know, you have people that are a little bit more limber, you know, this will give you the ability to, to have both available. You have some nice size medicine cabinets for storage the toilets in a, in a place where you're not feeling like you're cramped when you're when you're trying to, to do your business. So, I mean, everything really works out nicely and it's roomy enough that, you know, if you need to change in there, you can, because you're not stepping over things. And, you know, it's just really a well-designed plan. And there's even towel bars on the door. So, you know, what, what do we always hear, Donnie, is that there's never a place to hang anything. Well, there's a nice hand towel ring and then you also have these these uh, towel bars as well that are that are incorporated with the door. And, you know, aesthetically having the glass tile, uh, actually real glass tile in there to carry that through from the kitchen is a nice thing. One thing that really stands out to me, you actually have ducted heat and ducted air into the bath. And a lot of manufacturers are just running straight railed AC. And they will literally, some of them have five, six inches cut out of the top of the door or the bottom of the door to where heat and air can get in there. Although it obviously does, does not do a good job at all. So having true um, ducted air and heat into the bath uh, is a uh, is a is a huge thing to me from a from a uh, an ownership standpoint. Yeah, and the way we designed our our uh, our air conditioning systems too is we we did go to the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. So all your intakes are on the outsides, and we're able to really take all that bad air and bring it back into the system. And then all your your cool air or warm air if you're using the heat pumps is going to drop down the center so not only for the half bath but when the slides are closed you actually have the ability to heat or cool the coach effectively uh, we still have a lot of manufacturers that are they're just running all their drops down one side and all their intakes down the other right. or or they flip everything and all the drops are on the outside one so when the slides are in which everything has slide outs there's no real way to get that air circulating the way we want it to. And so uh, by, by adding the Whisper Quiet feature to the Aria, um, it really makes a huge difference at allowing us to be as efficient as we possibly can because you know there are environments where extreme temperatures do, do come into play and you know, we want to make sure this coach can handle those the best we possibly can. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I know we've got the master bath, master bedroom, can't wait to see that. And I'm not trying to regress, but one other note about the bunks, um, you know, just standing here, those are the biggest windows I've ever seen <laughs> in a bunk model. But this is gonna let so much light into the coach during the daytime when they're not being used, just to uh, just kind of open up the space. And again, just allowing a lot of natural light and vented. That's really, really cool touch. Well, thanks, Donnie. And Donnie, one of the things that I don't want to forget to mention is the fact that we are using multiplex in the Aria. We're using it in the Palazzo, we're using it in the Venetian and the Tuscany, but as we continue to progress with this multiplex system, more and more features are becoming uh, present for us. And going through the, the main monitor on the coach, you can see there's a home screen. You can see precisely what your holding tanks are gonna have available. And you can see how your batteries are doing. You have auto generator start, so you, we obviously have the ability to, to make sure that you're not gonna run your batteries down too low by setting it up to where the generator is gonna kick on before any problems were to arise. You never want a coach to be below 12 volts. Again, with solar on this coach as well, it's really gonna protect your system from that. 
going through. You can see, you know, the lines on the unit for how the power is being uh, digested on the unit itself. Your block heater controls, power source, you know, between your shore power and your generator are identified here. Inverter status, load status, all those fun features that you need to know about on the unit are easily accessible. Also, um, just even more electrical information, um, diagnosing that. Slide controls, you can see it'll remind you to make sure that the coach is gonna be level before you use the slides. Make sure the bed's in the up position, which, which we do, and then all the, all the different slides in terms of out and in, you know exactly what's gonna do what on the unit. Climate controls again, having the ability to do it from your phone, front and rear, cool or warm. This even has a temperature start feature through the Autogen search. If you don't want the coach to get too cold, you want it to get too hot, you can actually set that up through the panel to make sure that it's taken care of. And there's even a timing function that just recently got added that we didn't have before. All your lighting, uh, you mentioned before, but you can turn all the lights off or on easily right here. Specific lighting, you know, one of the things we used to hear about a lot from our customers is, what does the switch do? Well, they're all identified here, so you know precisely what you do. If you want to turn on a cargo light, there's your cargo light button. Um, you can do that very easily. The rear lights on the coach as well. Vents, you can run those as well. And then other settings to set up to make sure that, uh, that everything's working properly. So it's just an awesome system. All the switches throughout the coach are remote, so you can actually pull these right off the wall. So, I mean, you can see with this one, you have your, your generator start, your master off switches again. So you're ready to go to bed and you can turn everything off right back here, Don. You don't have to go scrambling throughout the coach to figure out where you can find every light switch. So just more conveniences and there's no wires that run into these. So again, it's just taking a lot of the complexity out of the unit. Um, the less complexity, the more reliable. And that's, that's what we're all about in this, in this, uh, in this motorhome. And then of course there's the tilt of view bed that you've uh, already spoke about several times, but look at the <laughs> look at the floor space that you have here walking into this master bedroom. It's not like anything I've ever seen. Well, and like I mentioned before, the whole idea behind the tilt of view is how nice it will be to be able to sit up in bed and watch television because you know obviously you're always having to stack pillows behind you or whatnot. And what we realized was the real advantage was the storage because. Um, number one, you know, in the past we've always had these these beds where you had to lift them up and there were storage underneath, but it was always inconvenient. So now we've been able to add a stack of drawers underneath the, the mattress itself. So you have really easy nice. access there. And then even more importantly, we've created so much depth across from the bed. And so, you know, this is a full king mattress. And when it's in the up position, it allowed us to build out these cabinets. And so, you know, we thought about it and again, Everything about this coach is about people and knowing there's going to be a lot more people than we normally see. So, you know, we knew that hang space was going to be at a premium. So what we did, Donnie, was we put hang space down below here and there's an adjustable shelf that, you know, obviously could be removed because we wanted to have the versatility here. And then we have another hang rod that's over here on this other side, wow. which you can see. And then I thought it was pretty neat. They even added this additional storage bin at the very bottom. And so, you know, just lots of room, knowing that there's gonna be a lot of people in here and, and we need a lot of clothes. And then the drawer stack that's underneath these wardrobes too is, is, is really deep. So um, we could really, again, maximize it. And then, you know, looking at the other side of the coach too, you know, big nightstands on either side. We built them out further than we've done in the past because one thing we realize is, is that having that extra space really comes in handy and we build out the overheads above the bed even further. So there's just huge depth wow. there and height. We standardized that because we had a couple of our, our floor plans that we did a better job with. And then what's really unique too is the fact that the toilet is actually incorporated in this rear slide out. And so it's nice because it really opens up the rear bathroom. In addition to that, uh, because we don't have uh, the slide stopping, we were able to put a larger nightstand in on the rear side. And, and we hear more and more about the need for CPAP machines and you know things like that. And, and with the king beds, they've, they've kind of defeated the idea of, of a nightstand being, being needed. And as you can see here, this has the biggest nightstands you ever find in a motorhome with still plenty of room on either side of the nightstand to make making the bed um, not as much of a chore as it otherwise would be. And uh, again, referring back to utilizing every space, even the television. I mean, when you lift that thing up, I mean, it's just uh, like a cavernous barn <laughs> back in behind the TV. I mean, it's really surprising when you open it up 
because you're used to only seeing maybe you know 10 12 inches in a typical coach if the tv raises up at all we, when we designed it we we didn't realize how big the space was and so we actually <laughs> when you lift this tv up um, we we had to put a shelf in because we didn't want the components because there's um, you know all the the switch boxes and, and the DVD player back here and we, we didn't want them to be in the way because there's so much extra room uh, that we wanted to be able to capitalize on and and uh, yeah so it really makes for a huge difference and you know we had actually heard a few years ago from some of our retail customers that uh, the TVs needed to be up higher because you know being down too low they kind of your feet kind of interfered with the ability <laughs> right. to, to view them and so we were able to kind of kill two birds with one so, stone, so to speak, by, by how we've mounted them. And, and we're starting to do this more and more all the time. And, you know, as I stepped into the, to the master bath, first thing I noticed was a very low step up. Usually they're 10, 11 inches, you know, as far as the step up when you come into the master baths. Uh, so this one's got a really short step up, still leaving a ton of ceiling height in here. And I also love the double labs facing forward just to open that space up even visually from the front of the coach all the way to the back, you know, just utilizing all this space instead of this being the traditional closet. So visually the coaches end, you know, in this area. So, you know, by having this, having the mirror facing forward, I mean, this coach feels like you're in a 46 foot, <laughs> you know, motorhome. It does, and we're really not, we're not utilizing much of the length of the coach, but again, by, by having that toilet slide out, it, it almost creates kind of a master bath type of feel and you know we put this nice big mirror in the back and then we added these storage cabinets on the one side so you have more than a vanity to be able to pull out here and you can see you know it's just massive and again just trying to tuck in as much space as possible and there's two of them believe it or not so, wow. so you can take this one out and then you, you have another one behind it so it's almost like a his and hers or hers and hers type of setup where you have all the room in the world to, to take along all your sundries with you and you know, with the double lav, you know, two big sink basins uh, with a space in between them that is rarely found. But even this additional depth back in behind it, again for decorations or you know the toothbrush holders, all that all that kind of stuff. I mean, you just don't see this. You know, even in 45 foot coaches, you don't see uh, bath arrangements uh, with a countertops this this big and this type of space inside. Uh, just tons of cabinets, uh, that extra drawer that pulled out. Yep, you got another one right here I didn't even mention. So, and, so oh, check this out. Yeah, so and that that can have a dual purpose. You know, we have some people using them for a trash can, but it's also if you want to have a hamper, you know, just an extra space because oh, yeah. by building the toilet out, it allowed us for some extra space and then even a nice large overhead up above and and having the window back here. I mean, you think, oh, well, everybody's going to have a window, but this is a nice large egress window that uh, just provides you with a little bit of extra, you know, I guess openness uh, in terms of the feel. It doesn't feel as closed in and you have the skylight. And right. I, I didn't mention up, up front, but the tub shower and this walk-in shower are both one piece fiberglass. So you don't have the seams to be concerned about water leaking. Right. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm a bigger guy and Donnie, I can step inside the shower and you know, I got plenty uh, of, of shoulder space to be able to turn all the way around and sure and I got lots of height here I'm, I'm six foot one so you know you think well two showers are both gonna be <laughs> tiny well you know what I can actually uh, spend time in either one of them and feel quite comfortable the livability is truly unlike any other floor plan that's ever been built I mean this is gonna be such a huge hit in the family diesel industry um, you know I guess uh, last but not least um, love for a, a quick tour of what you've you know what you're offering behind the steering wheel of this coach uh, you know and what it's a uh, little bit about what it's like to drive this thing let's go take a look you got it so Donnie here we are in the cockpit um, as I mentioned before we really make the driver comfortable in the way that we've designed this unit uh, you know it starts with the cab chairs uh, um, I didn't mention before, but um, we have Villa cab chairs and then we have Williamsburg furniture. So you know, the appointments when it comes to the furniture is really, really on point. Um, we do add an additional feature with the Aria with an adjustable armrest so you can actually uh, adjust the height position so when you're when you're rolling down the road you can make sure that you're, everything's positioned properly. Freightliner does a nice job of making these steering wheels adjustable. They also have the ability to telescope um, as well. So you can really set yourself um, behind the wheel and, and you're ready to go. And, and I mentioned when we were outside, but nice tall mirrors, very visible. They're heated as well. Uh, the cameras right. are right on them. 
And um, this is actually the first coach where we've added dual monitors in the dash area. And we put them in a, in a great spot because you have your, both your backup and your side cameras close by. And then we add the GPS screen, which is closer to the passenger side. So, you know, both you or I have the ability to, to kind of right. help figure out where we're going. And, and um, these, are, these are new nav systems that we just added for this year. And it's nice to have navigation on board. Um, it's also got the Bluetooth feature as well, which you know we try to incorporate Bluetooth with everything anymore because you know that's just what everybody's used to having, and it just makes for a much more convenient situation. And the design of the dash itself, I really like um, how you molded this dash with so much flat top on it, like we were discussing outside. You can really get a better view of it in here. But the instrumentation is really just behind that of the steering wheel. Everything else is just wide open to the driver and to the passenger. And it gives you so many nice places actually to be able to set things around the road, your cell phones, just the different things, even over there on your side, you know, having that flat dash area over there, it's a really nice design and very unique to the industry. Yeah, this is the smallest dash pod that you'll find anywhere. And again, we, we really have like this nice tall windshield. So um, we really wanted to bring the driver to the front of the coach, make it easy for them and then the gauges are in the, the perfect position so that you can see everything that's going on, but it's not interfering with your ability to pay attention to the road. And then obviously, you know, we have the nice sunshade and, and, and solar shade that's, that's on board. So, you know, with, with all this windshield um, and all these side um, windows as well, we, we, we make it to where you can close everything off and, and really privatize everything. You got your switches right down below here. Also, you have both your hot and your cold for dash air. And then moving along to the side, you'll see that your docking lights, they're easy to find, your ICC flashers, you have an air horn on the Aria, so right. you have the ability to turn that on right here, and your dash fans, and then also your transmission location for this 3000 Allison transmission is right at your hip pocket. And that's important because when you're going down those long descents, um, to have the ability to manually downshift and see what gear you're in and not be look, searching all around or having to reach sure. awkwardly. You, you can be right where you want to be and, and you can be able to control the coach. And then the final thing is your leveling system being right here. Everything's right in the right places to make it easy to manage and, and, and control this vehicle with, with, with really the you know a fingertips reach. And I like how you incorporate the Freightliner Information Center into the dash. So you know, just a host of information available to you there. Everything from, you know, engine temperature stuff when you're actually traveling, but even the pre-travel checklist that Freightliner builds into their coaches just to remind you, you know, are your steps up, is your antenna down? You know, those types of things. Just such an RV friendly feature you incorporate it into all of your units. That's right. So yeah, so a lot to talk about. And, um, you know, one thing we didn't mention too, it, it's over uh, next year's with the, uh, the window sticker. Um, another really, really nice feature about the Ari is that we really don't have any options on this coach at all as well. And that's something that's kind of been a theme for us um, with Thor Motor Coach. And you know, it was one thing that you and I kind of came to the terms on many years ago is, is the right way to take care of our customers. But um, the Ari has the, the least amount of options available in the market, uh, which makes the resale value much better because with NADA really focusing in on, on the base price and, and the standard equipment right. as to what determines the resale value. 100% of your options are, are, are depreciable. So um, I think the only option that we offer is in a couple floor plans is a cockpit TV and that's it. Uh, right. We even made the overhead beds and all the Aria standard for 2018. So, um, you know, be aware of that too, that, you know, when you're looking at different units, I know it's not gonna be the reason why you buy, but it sure is nice to know that your coach is gonna retain its value over the course of time. So if you really like the Thor product and you know, we come up with a new floor plan idea right. or maybe you wanna step up or step down in terms of the length or, or the total amenities, um, we're gonna make it much easier for you because your coach is gonna be able to hold its value. And something else that you do corporately that I really like is Thor Motor Coach's shield of protection. We do, and as much as it's important to build a quality motorhome that people can be proud of, we do know that there are issues that come up from time to time, and so we wanna make sure that our customers feel comfortable with their purchase. So there's a few things that we do that are sort of unique to Thor Motor Coach in a way that I think really take us to a whole nother level when it comes to the customer experience. Uh, first and foremost, it starts with our concierge connection. We, we do something special on the diesel side, Donnie, where um, when you purchase a, a Thor diesel motorhome from us, whether it be a Palazzo, an Aria, a Venetian, or a Tuscany, we're gonna call you. 
And now we're gonna call you one time, but we're gonna call you four times. So um, we, we get the warranty information, we're gonna call you, you know, welcome you to the family, uh, make sure everything's good, and then we're gonna call and follow up with you again at 60, 90, and 120 days. Just checking in, making sure that everything's working properly. Uh, you might have a question on how to use right. something. Right. Um, you know, we, we do do a lot of videos online so people can see the different functions and, and uh, we actually had a customer call just today and was wanting to get a little bit more extensive walkthrough on their unit so we had a technician call them. But um, we, we call just to make sure that all the information is available and, and, and we take care of them. Um, and then another thing that's really huge is that we don't rely on an outsourced um, after hours customer service line. Um, the only time we ever outsource any customer service is from 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. in the morning um, because we, we determined that during those hours of the day um, the, the call frequency was so light that it didn't justify us having anyone but if it's a weekend if it's a holiday if it's after the factory is shut down for the day we have designated people technicians that work for our factory with training that work for their from their home and that's their designated time to work uh, to be available with any technical information wow. that our customers going to need and you know how often does something go wrong and when when something does go wrong it's typically not during the most opportune <laughs> time so so we want to make sure that we're going to be available to take care of you so that you're having a good experience and that 24-hour support is first and foremost um, on our minds and and one of the things that we do better than everybody else does um, we also have parts available we we try to maintain and we call it a rapid response part system but we, we have parts, our most common parts, available at the factory so that we can get parts out to a customer if they're in a down situation. And then the last thing that we do, and I think maybe the thing that I like the best of all these great customer service features, is we're a one source shop. And what that means is that we actually are going to be asking our customers to go to us first to help with any of the different elements of the coach. There's probably about 6,000 uh, average parts and pieces that go into every diesel motorhome and so there's a lot of different vendors a lot of different companies that a customer would have to filter through to figure out and, and get help with any you know possible component that could go wrong but sure. rather than doing that we've grown our warranty department so that we can tackle all those different things you know obviously when it comes to like windows for instance we buy a heck of a lot more windows than any individual customer does so we have the leverage to be able to provide the best possible customer service because we would prefer to deal with that vendor rather than our customer having to go through the, the, the frustrations that can sometimes occur with having to do that. We have the relationships and, and, and those different things. So, you know, and, and we, we do partner with the right vendors too. And, and so we've really been able to provide, you know, the best type of, of service. Most of the manufacturers that, that are in this business, they say, you know what, if there's a problem with your appliance, call the appliance company. That's, that's just not the way that we do business. Well, you guys absolutely make it an, an honor and a pleasure to be a dealer, uh, how you take care of, of our mutual customers. Um, you know, again, from a from a dealership standpoint, uh, Thor Motor Coach, Thor Industries, um, just an exceptional company to work with. And uh, you've got, uh, you know, our mutual customers' best interest at heart all at uh, at every turn. And wow, what a coach, Adam! Uh, the the floor plan, uh, the coach, the price point, uh, everything, the the amenities. You knocked this one out of the park. Well, and I'm so, so, so proud of, uh, so, so proud of the job that you've done and to be your friend, my man. You've done a great job with this coach. We're excited. And, and I think every, all of our customers will be too. <laughs> no question. No question. And folks, if you have any additional questions about the Aria or any of the other Thor Motor Coaches that we have available at Motorhome Specialist, uh, please visit MHSRV.com or feel free to call one of our representatives today at 1-800- 3356054 Thank you all very much for watching. We all look forward to hearing from you soon. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at mhsrv.com or call 800 3356054. Motorhome Specialist is the number 1 volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. Over 200 acres and $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location. Making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. All sale priced at a minimum of 25% off the manufacturer's suggested retail price every day.
You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make-ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?